Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1955, 1955 of What You Have to Know, documenting the journey. Originally in 2018, as I, as I, and actually in 2017, I moved from the brick and mortar corporate world of business, decades, literally lots of decades. I hate to even admit how many in both corporate America while simultaneously owning and operating and building and supersizing and growing and uh, in different industries, my own businesses, businesses for me and, and some with partners, some not, uh, but lots of different experimenting and figuring out what worked and what didn't work for me, what I liked for businesses and what I didn't. I found out that there were certain industries that didn't match my core values and didn't feel good to work in for me. And so I dabbled in those and then I chose to exit those. So I like to hop on and share some of the experiences and lessons that I've learned over the decades. And then I came online in 2017, didn't really show up in video until 2018, but I started to document my journey. Thank you, Russell Brunson, for encouraging all of us to do that and mentoring us for that, as well as other people that I learned different aspects of video from. Now, I am not a video expert. I've made a lot of them. I've made, I don't even remember, 6,000, I could look, 6,720 podcast videos. So, so that's a lot. But when you do them every day, it doesn't take long to add up to a lot. That's why I encourage people to do one thing every day in order to get what we want. That's actually what this year's annual challenge is about. We're doing the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge and we do one thing every day to get what we want. This month we're focusing on financial health, financial well-being, financial goals. And today it's just what does that mean to you? What does financial health mean to you? What does financial well-being mean? look like to you because in order to set a goal to achieve something we have to know what we're shooting for right we have to know what we want in order to decide where are we and how are we going to get from where we are to where we want to be so we talked about that today our idiom to sort of coincide with that for supersize your business was to save for a rainy day and we talked about that this idiom has been around for hundreds of years it's from the mid 16th century it actually appeared in a play by the bag bugs or, uh oh, wrong. I said it wrong again. Bugbears. I don't know who the bugbears were. They were obviously a play group, an acting group or troupe that went around and did plays back in the mid 16th century. In 1561, they talked about uh, saving for a rainy day in one of their performances. And it, of course, means to be prepared for the unexpected, right? To make sure that we are not devastated by things that happen in our business and in our lives and and how do we prepare for that so that's it if i can help you in any way today hit me up and ask otherwise have a fantastic day and i'll pop in tomorrow if there's anything you have a question about that you'd like me to talk about in this segment ask just ask if it's offline businesses online businesses growing building scaling starting selling any type of business not any i've been in thousands of different industries now with my online work i've gotten my fingers into a lot more industries than i ever did offline uh, because it's so easy it's so easy to work with different industries ask just ask and if i don't know the answer guess what i love learning new things so i'd be glad to help you find the answer or the person that can help you with whatever it is that you need all right have a great day and i'll of course be with you tomorrow